So there are two main ways that I like to use in order to run Llama 3 on my machine with all the privacy that comes with it. The first one is the easiest one to set up and it is the one that requires the least amount of steps. And the second one is my personal favorite and it's the one that I use either to run Llama 3 or any other models locally on my machine. So today we are going to see how we can use both of these methods and we are going to see how we can launch an endpoint in order to use our Llama 3 either to interact with it and ask questions or use it in an Autogen project or an Accrue AI project. So with that being said, let's jump to my screen and see the first method. Okay, so the first way to use Llama 3 locally is going to be through Olama. It is the quickest and easiest way to do so. So just go to olama.com and then download for the operating system that you have. Once it's done installing, just go here and run it. And then here, just click on install and then wait for it to install. Once that is done, you can just open the terminal and then you can literally just run the command olama run llama 3 wait for it to install it's gonna take a bit of time depending on your internet connection now it has done installing llama 3 we can just start using it let's ask a very simple question what is the capital of france for example and here we're gonna get the answer that's it and whenever you want to quit you can just click on Control d and then you are going to quit the second way that is actually the the preferred way for me is going to nm studio and then of course download it once it has finished it will just open up like this close this window and then go ahead and you're gonna find llama 3 as the first one but we can search for it if you're watching this video later on we can literally search for llama 3 and then you will have the models in from hugging face that you can basically just download here you can see the number of likes and the number of downloads so let's go ahead with this one that is most downloaded and here by the way you can see if your gpu is going to be able to handle the llama 3 model or not so this is why it is so much more user friendly and i prefer actually running lm studio rather than olama so let's go back here and choose a good version so let's say for example let's choose the q4 version this one it's downloaded and here you can see the model be basically being downloaded now it has finished let's go to ai chat and here we can just basically choose this model that we have just downloaded and we can basically start using it so here for example i can start asking it questions so let's ask it an interesting question not just a generic one let's say for example why does a circle have 360 degrees so let's send this and let's see the answer and here we get the right answer of it being basically a definition that has been done by the babylonians who basically had a base 60 system meaning that they were not counting from 1 to 10 they were counting from 1 to 60 and that is basically stuck with the greeks and then it has been passed down to us so that's the right answer so let's stop it here now let's go to the last part of our video where we're gonna go to local server and here we can basically launch and start a server that is going to allow us to use an endpoint of this model llama 3 so here we can just choose a model that we have downloaded and then we basically can click on start server and then the server is going to start and if we copy this code that we have here and then we go to vs code if we paste it and of course we need to pip install OpenAI. so here if we change this to your a helpful assistant and then here we are going to ask it for example to give us three activities to do indoors if we launch this if we go back to LM Studio, we are going to see that the inference is going to basically start. We are going to see that the message is being generated. So apparently this model does not want to finish talking to itself. I feel like the assistant is basically going further than what we asked it. So we are going to stop it. Let's stop the server and let's download another model. This is the best thing about it is that we can download always another model. So let's download this one and let's delete the other one. What was it? It was this one. So let's delete it. Delete it. And let's download this one. This is the one that has been uh, basically proposed by LM Studio. And it has the most downloads. So that's good. So the model has been done downloading. If we go back to local server and then we choose the new model that we have just downloaded.
Now, if we copy this, we copy the code and then go back here and paste it. So now if we run the code, we got go back to LM Studio. We're going to see the inference. We're going to see it generating the answer. And then once it's finished, we can go back here and then we can basically see the answer. The first one is scavenger hunt. Second one is cooking and baking. And the third one is indoors obstacle course. It's this sounds like a bit of a stretch for an indoors activity. But anyways, this is basically the answers that it gave us. So yeah, this basically can be uh, added to any of your projects and you can use it as much as you want. It is for free. It is inside of your machine. As long as your machine can run it, it should be working. So yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't hesitate to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.